Hello and welcome to a Parker training session. The session today will be covering three topics. Inspecting and cutting Parker J844 DOT tubing. Proper insertion into the push-to-connect fitting. And the proper removal from the push-to-connect fitting. Part 1. Tube Inspection. Here, we have a piece of Parker J844 DOT tubing. It's important to closely inspect the tubing to ensure there are no visible scratches on the end of the tubing. You should also make sure it is cut square before inserting the tubing into the fitting. As you can see, we have a piece of Parker J844 DOT series tubing that has deep scratches and the end has not been cut square. You can use the PTC001 series tubing cutter or equivalent to properly cut the tubing. Take a piece of the tubing and position it into the cutter. Pay close attention that the tube is square with the cutter. The maximum degree off of square is 15 degrees. Cutting the tubing at a 90 degree angle is the most ideal cut. Part 2. Inserting the tubing. After inspecting the tubing and ensuring a proper cut, you can now insert the tube into the fitting. The particular method that we will be discussing today is called the push-push-pull method. First, insert and push the tube into the collet. You will notice a slight resistance when the tube meets the collet teeth. Continue pushing the tube into the fitting until it bottoms on the tube support and comes to a hard stop. Lastly, pull the tube to ensure the proper insertion. If the tube was installed correctly, it will not pull out. Part 3. Tubing Removal The last topic that we will cover is the proper way to remove the tube from the fitting using the collet release button. Make sure when removing the tubing that you are pressing on the collet button uniformly. Parker Tool 3271-00079 can help assist in applying even pressure to the collet button, especially in tightly spaced locations. The best way to do this is by using three fingers to hold the button down or Tool 3271-0079 while using the other hand to remove the piece of tubing. While depressing the collet button, slightly twist the tubing and pull the tube from the fitting. If damage occurs to the tubing during removal, recut the tube before reinsertion to guarantee the tubing will not create a leak path.